What's going on guys, it's Jim at Pokemon here and I'm bringing you guys the complete Aquapolis PSA 10 Hollow Set video. We're just going to go through each artwork, tell a few stories, kind of talk about it. I adjusted the lighting in this video, I think I had my um, overhead light on in the Expedition video. Uh, so it, the, the card should look much more clear in this picture. You can just look at that sick Anfros, all happy and <laughs> giddy and stuff, that's cool. And probably one of my favorite artworks, the Aquapolis set here, is this Arcanine. It just seems Wizards of the Coast always does Arcanine well. I mean, it just looks like just such a good-looking card. It's always kind of in action, always running, and I think we can all relate. That's cool. Arcanine. I think the overall opinion of Aquapolis is most people probably put it in, like, the second tier. Like, you have Sky Ridge is the best, you have Aquapolis is second. And then Expedition is third. In my mind, I'd probably put Aquapolis more as the the last tier. I think Expedition is the second best set after Sky Ridge. Um, if you're talking, talking about overall value, just in general, um, I think people put Aquapolis second because it has the uh, crystal cards. It has that higher premium card, that higher rarity, uh, which most people can just directly relate with. But if we're talking about just overall cards in general, I think Expedition is, is one of the coolest. Um, so of the three E-Series sets, I'd probably put this at the bottom, my personal view. But I think most people, just because it has crystals, they're going to put it in the middle between Sky Ridge and Expedition. Again, pretty cool here. Get that same hollow pattern. Just sticks out, makes these cards look sick. And a big difference here from Expedition to Aquapolis you got the legendary dogs. You got Entei here, which is cool. You get Suicune and Entei and Raikou. It's just beautiful, beautiful artworks. You can see how long ago I collected this set, like way, way back when. Uh-oh, and we have an Espeon. Espeon seems to always bring in good value. It's always kind of tough to find at a decent price as well, too. Oh, that's cool. I'm still working on the non hollow rares for this set. I think I'm missing three. This was the largest set ever produced by Wizards of the Coast. I mean, it's it's a massive set. I think it has 168 cards plus reverse hollows. Oh, and look at that Hound Doom. Top of the rock. Oh my gosh. It'd be cool if it was Howlin' at the moon like it was in uh, Neo Rev, but it kind of looks a lot like the Neo Rev artwork when you think about it. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh, dude, like, yeah, this is probably one of the top, like, three artworks, in my opinion, for the set. You have Hypno, and originally I was like, oh, that's kind of cool, it's Hypno, but then you look, and he's, like, kind of creepy, he's, like, sneaking on somebody in their house. It's, like, the creepy Hypno here. But look, I mean, you got the shutters, like, everything is hollow here. That's so cool. But yeah, I mean, Aquapo is such a huge set. If you're going for a master set, like, good luck. I mean, it's it's a struggle for sure. Uh, so the 46 rares, I think, you know, I'm still missing three, but hopefully I'll be able to show you guys those in the video as well, too. Kingdra. It's kind of a cool, I always love the blue ones. You can just, it just seems like that I can see them a little bit better than the others. That's cool. You have Lantern. But again, with Aquapolis, you know, I mean, you get the water types and all that, and you get more of a variety. I like how, you know, hey, there's a Lantern Hollow, like you wouldn't see a Lantern Hollow in most other sets. But at the same time, like, I just don't feel like uh, the card artwork and the quality is um, as good as Expedition. And then Sky Ridge is just kind of like on its own level. Um, when most people are thinking like, which three should I chase? Most people are just like, I'm going to go with Sky Ridge. Last set produced. Limited quantity available of uh, cards and booster boxes, etc. Um, but again, you have cards like this, Nido King. Like, that's pretty cool. But again, you know, I think Nido Nid King is kind of like one of those mid-tier Pokemon. Um, it just doesn't have as much support, in my opinion, as like Expedition. Two Ninetales? That's not bad. It's kind of cool. Octillery? Maybe it's just the water types. <laughs> there aren't as many cool water type Pokemon as there are just all the others. I don't know. I mean, Octillery is it's cool. I mean, yeah, it's a hollow Octillery, but... I'd rather collect other Pokemon, if that makes sense. Scizor. And you kind of run in there, but that Neo Discovery scissor artwork, yeah, it's like right in the middle of the picture. That that was like one of my favorite scissors. Uh-oh, here we go. 
Slow King. I love how Slow King is always just kind of chilling. You never see him in action. You never see him fighting. He's always just like, yep, just hanging out, rule, <laughs> ruling whatever I rule. That's cool. Oh, this is one of my favorites from the set, too. He's Steelix. It's simple, but it's like he's blue. He's chilling. He has so much potential. It's like peace through strength. Like, it just it looks so strong in the picture. Oh, that's cool. Sudowoodo? <laughs> it's like such a goofy picture. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look, you got another one in the background. You can barely see it. There you go. Oh, you got three in the background, two in the background. That's cool. It just looks so goofy. Oh, here we go. Another legendary. The almighty Suicune. Yeah. Don't want to come across him in the wild. No, sir. Ah, whoops. Almost fell. You tend of cruel. Oh, that's cool. I love the blue. That's cool. All the tentacles. I feel like every time I see something like this, I always count. I'm like, how many tentacles are there? There are definitely more than eight. That's cool. Tentacruel. You have Togetic or Togetic, however you want to say it. I think this is one of the last ones I needed for this set. I think this one was hard for me to find for, for whatever reason. I remember trying to chase it a few times. It's like he's in a mansion. That's kind of weird. That's cool. Uh-oh. Another, another Tyranitar. I still think the Expedition artwork is, kind of, is a little bit cooler. This one's just coming out of the jungle. It's like, this could be like a scene from like Jurassic Park. It's like, uh-oh. Let's turn around, guys. Don't move. Nobody move. But then one of the higher value cards in the set, Umbreon. Um, I think Umbreon is just so much better than Expedi I mean, uh, uh, Espeon in this set. The Espeon artwork is kind of plain, and I get that feedback from a lot of collectors. Whereas Umbreon, people just love it. I mean, it's, it's nighttime. I mean, this could be like London here and just kind of roam around like the black cat with all the gold on him. That's pretty cool. Um, I mean, th this card's probably $500 plus. I, I know I, I sold one maybe like a year ago. Um, a reasonable amount above that. But uh, it it's it's one of the higher value cards in the set for sure. Victory Bell. Pretty nice. Kind of, you know, going back to the jungle roots there. Vile Plume. That's cool. The Flower's Holographic too. And then one of the another one of the better artworks in the set, in my opinion, Zapdos. Like, look at that. Lightning Storm. I mean, like that is just, it's like he's breaking out. Like each one of the little points there has like lightning coming out of it. Um, this is one of the better Zapdos artworks, in my opinion. It just looks so much better um, than some of the other ones. I think the Fossil Zapdos is kind of plain. The basic Zapdos, you know, it, it doesn't compare to this. I think this one is um, definitely one of the, the best Zapdos artworks. It kind of reminds me of Rocket Zapdos from Gym Challenge. Um, but even then, this is like so much more aggressive uh, than many of the others that we've seen. And what everybody came here for, the crystal cards. Again, Aquapos was the first set to feature crystals. Um, kind of that higher tier rarity. You probably pulled um, anywhere from two to three, maybe in a box. If you got lucky. And then this these cards just go for so much more um, than, than the hollow foils. So hollow foils, you know, could average anywhere from like eighty bucks a card to like, you know, maybe up to like six hundred for some of the higher end ones. Uh, you know, these crystal cards could average five hundred to a thousand or fifteen hundred, depending on you know what the demand is at the time and how many people are chasing them. Lugia, the best best card in the set. I think it's one of the most undervalued cards at the time. I only have two copies right now, this one and another one I'm holding. Uh, to me, it just doesn't make sense why this card is still going for around a thousand bucks at the moment. Uh, but I think this card could easily be 2,000, 2,500 card in the future. Um, it just, again, best card in the set. It's Lugia shooting up to the sky there. Uh, th I mean, this is the card everyone wants to pull. Uh, so why it's still priced a thousand bucks still kind of blows my mind. Um, 
Booster boxes are around like 3,500, 4K at the time of this. So I don't know. You guys tell me. And one thing that was kind of confusing when I was first collecting this set, there are not reverse hollows of the crystals. There are only the hollow full version. So you can only pull a hollow full version. I remember I was looking for Quapos reverse and I was like, man, these things got to be so hard to find. Like you just can't find them anywhere. And then of course, you know, they don't exist. That's, that's kind of what happened. Uh, they were never made until Sky Ridge. So you got Nidoking King here. Again, you know, kind of in action there. You can kind of see the the lighting on him. Make it look like he's, like, doing an attack or something. Rolling Thunder, probably. But, again, Crystal Cards are, are pretty cool. I, I really like them. Uh, you just wish that uh, they either made Reverse Owls or they made more of them. Because um, of the three Crystals, I mean, which one would you want? It, it's Lugia, hands down. There's There's no question about it. Uh, Kingdra and, and Nidoking King are both both good Pokemon, but they're not in the same category as, as Lugia. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'll probably have a non hollow rare video out uh, soon. That way I have to tie the videos together. And so if you want to check that out, feel free to. A lot of the artworks will be the same, but there'll be a few things mixed in as well. So thank you guys for watching.